Hi guys, how are you going? My name's Campbell and today I wanted to show you how to feel energy. Now, uh, we've all heard that everything is energy, that we are energy, that we're all connected, we're all one. You know, we have auras, we have chakra systems, all these things. So there's all this energy. So what is this energy? Uh, so just a quick breakdown. The reason that they say everything is energy is it's all got to do with quantum, quantum physics. And uh, what they've discovered is in every atom, we have a proton, neutron, and an electron. And basically the space in the atom is 99.99% what they say empty. Um, and that's basically because it's one, it's an empty sphere and the proton, neutron, elect and electrons are so tiny that they're just whizzing around this space. So it's literally all space. And the big trick is uh, they love to tell us this space is nothing. So they're, tr they're trying to tell us that Everything we see and interact with and experience is 99% nothing. Well, it's 99.999% nothing. But the truth is that that 99.999% is energy and it's actually everything. It's the energy that binds and animates the whole universe, including us. So how do we feel this energy? And just before we start, guys, just so you don't focus on it, I do have... A broken finger which is very bent as you can see um, so yeah when I put my hands together you'll see it's bending out and sticking out there but um yes it's just something that I snapped last year so please uh, don't focus on that all right let's get into it all righty so to start with just get your hands and give them a bit of a rub and this is just to um, excite uh, the atoms in your hands basically to get the protons and neutrons electrons spinning around and to create a bigger energy field so just not much just a bit and then hold your hands straight and like this close together with a gap but straight and what we're going to do is just very slowly we're going to push our hands in and out now when you do this you should start to feel a bit of a resistance which it feels like a magnets when you push two uh, similar poles together now what we're going to do is start to move side to side and up and down, just slow movements and try and keep your hands the same distance apart. And then start to pump it a bit more. And now you can start to get a bit further apart. Now, if you can feel it, start to yeah push it in. And it, what this does is it kind of builds the energy up and you'll be able to feel it. And if you move sideways and up and down, you'll feel the resistance. This is the energy, this is your energy field. And you can actually build it up and just get further and further apart. And you can actually make energy balls. If you turn your hands in, you can actually make and feel energy balls. And the more you practice this, the more you focus on the feelings that you're feeling in your hand, you'll attune your senses to feel this energy. So if you're not feeling much at the moment or anything at all, just have a few more goes and just understand that to begin with at least it's going to be a subtle feeling and it really just feels like I said when you push the two uh, you know positive ends of a magnet together and you get that resistance that's what you'll start to feel now this energy is your aura is your spirit and it's the energy that connects us all together like I said the energy that binds and animates all things and this is what people work with when they work on auras they're feeling this energy and I used to do this, um, I've got Reiki certificates and things, and I actually, years ago, I had a dog, and um, I used to give him Reiki all the time, and he used to, he used to love it. And um, I could fully feel about three levels of his aura, because as you start to get more sensitive, you'll feel, you can feel people's auras, animals, everyone, has, you know, every living thing has them. And you'll feel, you can start to feel layers, like there's a, you know, a heavy, it's sort of denser, and then as you get up, you can kind of bounce, until you find the next resistance point and that's the next layer and they go out and when you get when you do this you can actually feel and if you feel dips or places where it feels like there's no energy or a bit of you know nothing there and your hand dip, that's when you can actually fill that space with energy and you can focus on bringing energy through you and out your hand and this is much easier to do on other people rather than yourself 
Oh, it's much better to sort of get, you know, if you've got a partner or a friend, you can do it on each other. Just have a feel of each other's energy fields. See what you can feel. Like I said, if you feel uh, holes, fill them in. If you feel lumps, flatten them out. And this is all feelings. This is all to do with, you, you know, your energy. You're actually using your energy to interpret their energy. So it's not a conscious thing. It's not a, um, it's not a left brain thing. It's not a you know, conscious mind thing that you've got to focus on and work things out on because your left brain is much more uh, materialistic. You know, it likes to put things in boxes, it likes maths, it likes language and have everything sequential. But your right brain is your connection to the universe, your creativeness, all this kind of stuff. And so um, that's the mind that you need to be in when you're, you know, working with energy and feeling energy is you need to be in that space where you're in um, an expansive mindset and that way you'll be able to interpret what's going on so just a quick video guys that's how you make energy balls so practice it again you know it's been you know like I said you're not going to necessarily get it the first time most people can feel something I'm sure you'll feel something um, and then just work on it and just keep playing with it you know if you do it a few times a day play around with it, you'll start to feel it more and more and then like I said have a go on you know one of your pets or a human that you know and you can exchange it and just start to feel your energy fields, start to fill in any holes and um, start to really get in touch with who you really are, the essence of who we are, which is that energy, which, you know, you can call that what you want, God, the great spirit, the field, nature, it's all the same thing. So I hope you enjoyed that guys, quick video, how to make energy balls. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, hit the bell and share this if you found the information interesting. And I'll talk to you on our next video. Bye for now.